So welcome to the first Cornerstone Labs Think Tank or Think Tank series at Cornerstone Labs rather. That we always often talk about in our industry is about forming a team, right? So fitting that I have an A team in front of me here today, I want to introduce the concept of a think tank as professionals in the real estate industry. What we want to do is to be able to congregate, talk about the experiences that we're currently going through, nuances that are along with them, and what we feel can be done better. I mean, ultimately, we're here to close deals. I mean, each one of us in our own professions, um, if the deal doesn't get closed, number one, the client's not happy, and number two, none of us have anything to do. We want to be able to answer those questions. We want to be able to educate. We want to be able to, to provide an accurate description of what it is that they're, they're, that they're looking for, or what they're asking. Yeah, teams are synonymous with education. And uh, I think now the consumer being younger and mostly mm -hmm. first time buyers, they're so consumed with information that's being bombarded to them and technology, which is great for us, but it's also a double-edged sword because it teaches everybody that you can do it on your own. And the fact of, of the matter is that the wealthiest individuals in the world built wealth with real estate and property owner, um, ownership. So they do not do it on their own. They have teams for this. Nothing is ever you know, smooth sailing the entire time. There's always some type of roadblock uh, in, the, you know, in, in the process. And that's where it takes the experts, the local people with the market knowledge of that neighborhood who have the connections, who you know, can reach out to a title company and say, hey, I need you to do some research on you know, the CEO. It looks like there possibly was a change. You know, the property predates 1938, so it didn't need a CEO, but maybe there was an illegal conversion at some point. Whatever it, mean, whatever it is, Again, having somebody who is not local, who does not have that familiarity with the neighborhood, with how um, you know the municipalities work, they're not going to be able to overcome those issues with the same efficiency as somebody who will. And also, when you're working with that team, having that open communication. And there's information overload. Mm -hmm. The value is in taking the information that's there and saying, this is what this means, which people don't do anymore. Right. So to give you an example, People are moving deeper into Brooklyn, deeper into Queens, deeper into areas of New York that they typically wouldn't. A lot of these places that are advertised as three families aren't really three families, right? Sometimes they're two families. Sometimes they were converted illegally. Sometimes they're buying a place where there's plans for a development next door and they don't know about it. So increase the likelihood of closing, save time, free advice. I mean, I think that's a pretty good blueprint for, for a real estate buyer uh, and, and for uh, success in that matter.